Alright, I think there were really a lot of enemies along the way. Pretty much ran into none. I don't know if I like the sound of the music being really, really fast. When music gets really fast, I kind of panic a little bit. Oh no. Are these- Oh fuck! They are rapid fire! Moving tanks! I cannot get myself into direct conflict with these guys. It will be a bad idea. I will die so fast. Oh god, they just have a spawn point. They'll come, they'll keep going. They'll keep spawning event infinitely. They've got like fucking hitscan bullets, man. This is ridiculous. All right, just rush in. Whew. I'm never gonna be able to clear out all the tanks. Way for the Murray. All right, Murray, time to smash. Hey, pal. Looks like you'll need to lift all those giant cylinders. Once they're locked in the up position, you'll be able to take them out from the top level. All right, but what's the catch? Sorry, I was drinking water there. Am I gonna get attacked while doing it? Yeah. Okay, alright. It's up, pal. You've got company. I have to spam circle. Is that it? Because, uh, I was expecting more. When you say company, I always think, like, two or three. But having company over can, yeah, just def definitely mean one. All right, Mary, put your back into it. I gotta put my back into fucking... Adjust my chair. Oh, fuck me. The human body sucks. I fell... What? And two days later, I'm still in pain. Leave me alone. Thank you. I mean, you, you try to hurt me, but you gave me enough time. And that's all I was really asking for. Oh. He lived my flaming punch. Don't know how he managed that, but we fixed that problem. Okay, buddies. I'm a little disappointed by that. But it just means I have to fall nice to the second work. punch. Head up to the second level and thunder flop on the giant cylinders. That should finish them off. Ooh. You got it, Sly! I'm always down to belly flop my way around. Uh oh. <laughs> These things are so creepy. I'm so used to dealing with animal guards. And then you have these assholes. Even like the spider drones were at least like spidery. Perfect. Now head into the control booth and pull the plug on this thing. Or at least bug like. These guys, they just kind of float at you. In an eerie way. They don't even look intimidating. It's just eerie the way they move. Another engine bites the dust. I'm glad no one comes back over and like pushes the lever upwards. <laughs> Obviously, we destroyed a lot of the components of the engine, so it probably wouldn't matter, but if they could fix it with that, well, they haven't been trying.
So when I turn off the engine, does it just lock the thing in place? Or am I thinking about some different? I'm thinking about something different. I've been treating those as the engines, but those might not be the engines. The camera pointed at, at the engines at some point, but I don't remember exactly what structure was supposed to be in. I think the engines are just literally those rooms, in which case they don't really have any super indications that they're running or not from the outside. They're just a building. So that's my B. Alright. Ooh, we have a Murray mission. Well, I mean, since we're a Murray, we might as well do it. <laughs> no one can survive the flaming thunderflop. At least if one can, I haven't ran into it yet. Murray, it looks like I'm gonna need some help getting into that engine room. Happy to help! Bentley tells me that the door to that room is locked down by wall-mounted power stations located throughout this blimp. I'll need you to take out all the power stations and then pry open the door by hand. No sweat, Sly. All right, rip out a whole bunch of stuff. You got it, Sly. Oh, whoop, oh, oh, whoop, oh, oh, no. Can't float over the gap. I always forget that. Um, I'm gonna need to toss something at it. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while since we've done this. You think a flaming barrel would handle the job pretty quickly? Okay, well, if you're not going to become my projectile, you're just gonna have to fall off the map. Enjoy your inability to fly. Ow. So is it like specious if you're a bird and you're a bird that can't fly? People make fun of you for that, even though it's like physically a part of your entire race, basically. <laughs> Look at this dumb penguin. He can't fly. I guess, yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, that didn't do anything to you. Hey guys! I need the big man to get taken out because he's just gonna ruin everything for everybody else. Ooh, I am toasty! Stop lighting me on fire, okay? I know it's what I do to you guys, but usually it's to instant kill you. You guys are just burning me. That is unnecessary cruelty. Uh oh. Woo! Didn't need that touch of the fire barrel. Uh, hey guys, that's not what I wanted for that. So how do I make my explosions explode on people? Or is, yeah, it might just be automatic. Throw an object, explode on impact. Use it as automatic. Yeah, okay. I just wasn't fully sure if I was getting that effect. All right, two more targets and they're kind of far, so we're gonna need you to just fly on by. Guys, guys, you don't need to do this. Just ignore the alarm and you won't have to be thrown into anything yourself! <laughs> it still sounds like a song is getting put on. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll work on it. Oh, Jesus. But, uh, I'm taking a little bit of damage. So, you're, you're gonna have to hold on, Sly. Where am I heading to now? Oh, above me. Great. Thankfully, that's not too hard of a task to manage. Although, it's a long task to manage because... Boy, did they really, really want to make sure that only Sly could conveniently move around this level. Okay. Alright. We're moving on. We got where I needed to. And without too much trouble. But I always get worried when I'm like at the very edge. I like barely make it on there. Yeesh. Please don't zap me! Please continue to miss! Your turn, buddy. Alright, Murray, you're gonna have to go punch a bunch of drones. Careful, Sly. This place is packed with laser security. First, you'll need to make your way to the far end of this room, then jump up to the second level to get at the engine room control center. Alright, I can do that. So, there's like a, a much slower laser kind of patrolling through, or not really patrolling, but just making its way through. So I have to... <laughs> I have to follow it. Which is annoying. Because otherwise, it's very easy to dodge these lasers. It's just very slow. Impatience... is what's gonna take us out. And cockiness. I just started just pressing X. Because I didn't want to, I wanted to stop moving. If you move yourself to the edge of the room, you have less stuff to dodge. Right, oh my. The control center is opposite your position in the room. With some well-timed spire jumping, you should be able to get access. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that was big attention. Oh no. <sighs> See, if it were literally just jumping from saw blade to saw blade, we can make it across the room real fucking fast. But it's the waiting part that's gonna get us. Because I have to sit here and juggle between the saw blades as this fucking wave or this, like, scanning laser wave handles everything for us. Uh-oh. Yep, okay. And then if, if you touch the, the electricity, you just die instant, so that sucks. Oh, boy. Alright, we're making it this time. <laughs> I'll be honest, I scratched my face, and I was just like, whatever, I can stand on this just fine. I learned the hard way that, no, that is not right. If you get damaged by the saw blade, you need to press circle again, or you will fall to your death. Ugh. Ah! We're fine? No! I was right there! That should have been the run. That should have been the run. I was right fucking there. I was right there and I just... I ruined it. I blame Scratch in my face. I didn't scratch my face when I fell down there, but <laughs> I still blame it. Alright, this is absolutely 100% the run. Patience. Even though I feel so... impatient. Impatience is what got me killed? Oh, fuck me. Impatience is what got me killed. 
I'm just gonna wait. It's better to just do what I was doing beforehand. Juggle your way through the sauce. No need to jump preemptively. That's what got me screwed over before. There. That's lights out for this engine. Now can the saws be deactivated so I can get across this room safely? Oh, thank God. So the saws weren't deactivated, but the lights were... I, so I'm fine with that. The electricity's gone. Okay. So am I gonna exit out a Sly? I think I will. In which case, I can go back to the... Yeah, the spot area. See, it's almost more convenient when I don't have to, like, constantly swap back and forth. Like, manually. It's like they learned their lesson for this area. Okay. I want those two baldas, especially now that I've seen where I need to go to access the vault. Now, I don't know where I need to go, I just know it's up. Come on, guys! What I want is very simple. Riches beyond imagination. There. That's all I need. Alright. Charge TNT run, that will take out the last of the engines, and that should set us up for taking out a certain clockla. Oh, hmm. I forgot about the loot. Oh, you see, the problem is we're so close to the end of the game. And there's so little I actually want from that loot. But I should probably grab it, but we're also so close to finishing what we need to do here. I should grab the loot. Why is there health thing in there? It's so random. I saw that, like, in the first chamber. I just didn't say anything about it, because I was like, whatever. But now that I think about it, why the fuck? Seven, two, five. It'd be great if it actually failed and he had to recalculate it on the spot. Ooh, that looks sneaky. Shadow power. I'm gonna bring myself to the Shadow Realm. What does that do? Uh, let's find out. Move without being seen. Whoa. I can't run with it, but cool. That actually just made me realize, wait, we had that power beforehand, in the last game. And we just didn't have it until now, for the sake, I guess, of balance. But that helps me out, there are a lot of areas where, uh, enemies are just kind of being a nuisance, and I don't want to put them to sleep, or do anything else, instead I can just, I can handle them. Okay. Honestly, while I just talked about trying to get all the loot, I don't even remember exactly where I saw them because I don't have this place memorized in my head. It's just kind of a lot of verticality and craziness, so... I don't remember where I even got that last loot that I ended up not scoring. It was somewhere in this area. This engine room is locked out tight. Since we can't get in, I figure we'll have to destroy it from the outside. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. 
It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Oh, no. Lock one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right, let's blow stuff up. All right, we haven't had to do this in a long while, honestly. We just have to maneuver our barrel. This is a supreme test of patience. And we will succeed. There will be no failure accepted here. They start turning around towards me. Boom, the barrel is still. Now, where are the other... Oh god, they're really so far apart. Jesus. Can you move on? I'll go... Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was gonna continue on to the path. I may I messed up. Shoot. Oh! That's nice. They checkpoint after you get the charger. Cool, and now he's not in my way, so I can move the fuck on. Oh, right! Wait, let me back in! Nah, fuck. I wanted to jump in the barrel. I forgot that it would make me jump out of the barrel, and the barrel would just blow up. So I have to maneuver myself in a different way in order to get to where I need to go. No moving. No moving. The problem is, I think he's gonna walk into me. Oh, Jesus. We're fine. 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 Wait, we do need to stand off a little bit more to the side of these paths. Just in case. It's so cruel how far they're making me do, like, walk around in this barrel. Especially with some of the way these lights are messed up. I'm realizing now that, like... Like, I already noticed that the lights are hard to see sometimes, but... I realize now that that's not intentional. They're supposed to show a light thing there, they just sometimes don't. Like, you see the lights... The the light shaft, but you don't see the end point of the light. Which is what I generally keep an eye out for when trying not to get hit or detected. And so that, that, that's kind of fucky. That's okay. We can still keep an eye out for the other sections. Alright. Now, for the annoying part. I have to somehow go all the way up top without ever once jumping. And I don't know how to do that. I don't know the path to get up there. Shoot. Yeah, I, I guess I could go up this. Oh, thank God. All right. <laughs> I was gonna go crazy if I had noticed that. I, I, I was about to be like, oh, I don't know what the hell they want me to do. But this is simple then. They just walk. Walk, talk, and then blow up, I guess. I like how we're getting these magnetic chargers. Barrel all charged up. It's time to deliver the payload to that engine. We're like this simple TNT barrel, and
and now we've just strapped on a little bit of extra science on here for the big booms. I mean, TNT's... Oh, a good bit of science. I almost got fucking shot there. I don't know how I didn't. But at the same time, they're a little bit crude. You basically just stuff a whole bunch of explosive matter in a, in, in a container, and then you light a fuse. But these magnetic charges... That'd have to be a little, little bit different. Regardless, I'm ready for the big booms. That should be the last time anyone puts that engine to use. I like how they make us go through three interiors and they're just like, why don't we just blow it up from the outside? Sure, I'm down for that, devs. And an unexpected windfall. I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Plakla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy the robotic bird. The only catch is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. To help her hone in on our position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local radio towers. Once Inspector Fox is in range, she'll take one of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Clockla. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris, and if that hate hypnosis light show goes off, well, you know the story. The real question is, why does Clockwork need to generate hate from other people? I mean, obviously, it's because it needs to be, I guess, a physically manifested energy, but it's just so weird to think about. It's like, oh, yeah, we're going to make people crazy in Paris. Why? For energy. To make me immortal. Oh. But he didn't need to do that before. He just hated the Sly family or the Cooper family by himself a whole lot. Huh. Well, I mean, they've got the brain, they might as well just put that in there. Alright, I think I have a little bit of loot. Nope. I mean, one. But that is not enough for the temporal lock. I need to get... I need to get me some loot. The big stuff. I want temporal lock. That sounds like it'll be really helpful. I don't need it. But being able to freeze enemies on the spot would be kind of cool. 